At Chanel, we pride ourselves on being able to provide the best care and repair service for all our products. However, in this case, the issue is not one of quality, as it is the nature of the design. Well, Chanel, let me tell you, your design is flawed. <laughs> Quickly, Romina from the future here. So um, I still cannot get over the fact of what Chanel has said. We're going to look at that in a second. But I also want to throw in here that around 20 people have written me by now and saying that they're going through the same process at the moment where Chanel, you know, is assessing their bag and they're sending it to Paris and telling people that you have to wait three to six months. Luckily for me, it was faster because Harrods has their own assessment team. Chanel once was a heritage brand. When you bought a Chanel bag in the past, like my classic flap in lambskin from 1990, that was a piece you wear for your entire lifetime and then you're gonna give it to the next generation, right? That's what Chanel bags were all about. And nowadays, heritage has turned into fast fashion. Some comments that I received actually said, you know what, Romina, I saw you wear that bag a couple times in your videos. Why are you surprised that you see wear and tear? And I'm like, what? Is it so normalized nowadays? that you think it's fine to spend 5,000 euro on a bag and then you wear it a couple of times and then it shows wear and tear, it's peeling, it's cracking and that's considered normal by many people nowadays. At least 20 people that have contacted me, you know, are going through the same process of what we're going to see now and I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, you're going to get similar responses whenever you guys hear back from Chanel, please send me the emails that you're receiving and nothing will be done. Nothing will be done. So watch this video, give me all your opinions. I would hope that one day they will have to address the issue and we know Louis Vuitton once did a recall for their pochette metis. You know, it would be a dream if Chanel would do a recall for the 22 um, and actually admit that they, you know, didn't do the best job. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's only been a week since we gave Harris my Chanel 22 bag and I mean, I was hoping for the best for a refund because we know they could manage to get one. I'm so happy for him. At least I was expecting a credit note. Um, however, I just got an email. I'm gonna show you that email in a second and they're basically saying, Mina, nothing is wrong with your bag. That is expected wear and tear after a month. <laughs> the bag is peeling after a month. Um, but that's normal, so um, please come and collect your bag again. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what did I expect? I mean, Chanel is useless. <laughs> um, we're gonna go pick up my bag now. It's a beautiful day, you know. I got my Starbucks, I got my little new bag. I love it, it holds all my essentials. I can't show you now, but it does. <laughs> and um, guys, tell me, what would you do? Would you keep the bag? Because I'm not going to be able to wear it, you know? It's it's just going to get worse. Do I sell the bag? Do I just list it on Vestiaire, you know? <sighs> what do I do? Let me know. Are we ready for this? Dear Miss May, I hope this email finds you well. I am writing in regards to your Chanel handbag, which you handed over to us for repair and assessment. I can now confirm that a full assessment has been completed by our atelier and the results show to be in good condition. Aha! Uh -huh. The leather is naturally maturing around the top area and the atelier has informed us that this is normal wear for this type of finish. The bag has a metallic coat finishing and is specked into lighten with time and usage. Okay. At Chanel we pride ourselves on being able to provide the best care and repair service for all our products. However, in this case the issue is not one of quality as it is the nature of the design. Well Chanel, let me tell you, your design is flawed. <laughs> Everyone has issues with their Chanel 22 bag. Um, I mean, I guess now we can only, you know, hope for a recall. Well, kindly be advised that your handbag is now ready to collect from the department store at your convenience. Otherwise, we are happy to arrange shipment to your chosen address, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> well, 
let's go and pick her up. I just made it to Harrods. We're just gonna go up the um, ateliers where the repair service for Chanel is on the fifth floor in case any of you ever need that information. I mean, they don't really help you, but <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's definitely worth trying, I think, with those expensive items. We see. Like I said, they were really lovely last time. Um, just gonna pick the bag up. I hope they didn't damage it like more. That's always my fear, you know. Somebody scratches it and it's rubbing off even more. We see. Ta 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 ta. Let's go. Come in fifth floor. Then you have Chanel shoes right here. Oh god, I can't believe this. They even have my bag. They even have my bag there. Look at that, guys. I have. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I wish I could at least get a new one. But what I wanted to tell you, you have Chanel shoes up here on the fifth floor. Ta ta ta! Oi, these are ugly. They're furry and ugly. <laughs> and then you just go here around the corner. Um, you have the Jimmy Shoe Cafe here, guys. And you basically just go down there. Wait, let me show you. Just go down here and that is Chanel Repair Services. Hey guys, so here we are. We got our bag back and at least it looks like they handled it really carefully, like there's nothing wrong with it, there's no additional damage. Again, they are really lovely. That team is the opposite of everything I've ever experienced at Chanel. They are the loveliest people and yeah, great team. Um, let's go somewhere more quietly and then I tell you what exactly they told me. Um, but look how nicely she packaged it again, you know. Okay, let's go somewhere quiet. I was hoping that I could just sit down somewhere, but it is so crowded. Okay guys, so let me quickly update in terms of what was said today. So I spoke to the supervisor and the entire team is very lovely, very welcoming. They want you to feel welcome. Um, they offer you drinks, you know, they're very polite. So really an incredible team um, when it comes to the repair service. However, they can't do anything. So she said because of the finish, basically what the email said as well, because of the finish, there's nothing they can do. She said it's a normal wear and tear. It should happen, you know, that just gives the bag its charm and character. And I'm like, don't agree with that because obviously, you know, the pink leather might shine through wherever the bag is wrinkled in time if you would use it. But I'm not going to use it obviously now. I'm just going to keep it pristine, well, as pristine as possible. And then I might decide to sell it or not sell it. Definitely let me know what you would do. Again, she said if it gets worse in time and something happens to the bag that really should not happen, like if it properly starts to peel, obviously Jacob's bag was peeling properly. It was not like different color leather just shining through. It was proper like rubbing off, right? So if something like this would happen, she said, you know, you have my email address, you've got my WhatsApp, just text me again and bring the bag back in, send pictures, and then we'll see what's gonna happen basically. But I mean, we always need to remember that this happened just a month after I bought the bag, okay? So in my opinion still, this should not happen <laughs> a month after you, you know, bought a bag that it's peeling and different color leather shining through and everything. Well, I, I, I can't do anything. I can't, ooh, look at these bags. I could, I'll show you in a second, but what can I do? You know, I tried everything now. This is Stella McCartney. However, I love the silver and the gold strap. You are? This caught my eye. Also guys, she said when you store the bag, just lie it down flat basically and don't cinch it in or anything like that. Okay, yeah, I can do that, but I still think like it's not solving the issue. When you wear it, it's all gonna get cinched in anyway and it will get worse. Well, am I on the wrong floor? I'm on the wrong floor. <laughs> it will get worse. Okay, I would say I'm just gonna go home now. I'm still gonna have dinner with my husband. I'm gonna go home later tonight. Where's the escalators? Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> and then we do a little unboxing and have a look at how the bag looks like currently. Um, I'm gonna have like a more detailed look at it that hopefully there's nothing else really wrong with it. Let's, uh, let's go home. Yeah, guys, I haven't had a chance yet to show you my outfit of the day and this mirror is just here, so I thought let's do that. So this jumpsuit is new, I love it for summery days. Um, and my new Salvatore Ferragamo sunglasses and my idol jewelry. So we just had dinner. I told you what happened. Did we expect this? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, right? It's going to be the most 
obvious thing that they would do. Yeah. I mean, I was hoping for a refund or credit note <laughs> that I would have gotten a Gabrielle before they discontinue it, but not going to happen. So what do I do now? Just keep it pristine, as pristine as I can. Yeah, just yeah. enjoy it like, a, like an art piece. True. Okay, so I just got home and I would say, let's have a look at it. She did package it really nicely, didn't she? Um, I hope I'm not going to find any new spots, scratches, scuffs. <laughs> um, now looking at the back at home when I have some more time. Um, but what I saw earlier, um, it looked okay. So here we are. Let's see how she packaged it. Okay, that's, that's nice. Um, let's get her out. Ooh. And here we are, unboxing her for the second time. <laughs> okay. Hello, what do I do with you? Do I keep you just as a piece of art in my cabinet? Because the color is so stunning. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't open it. Or do I sell the bag and buy something I can actually really use? <sighs> here she is. I mean, can you see that the color is just gorgeous? But then, you know, just knowing that this is probably going to happen everywhere on the back to all the wrinkles. And now it's like late in the evening, so you can't really see it. Um, the last time I've shown you the damage, it was like in bright sunlight, which was perfect. Um, but yeah, go back to that video if you haven't watched it yet. I got my bag back. Um, I still love her. Don't know what to do. Yeah, okay guys, so that's it for today. It was a long day. <laughs> Here she is. Um, yeah, let me know what you would do. And I'm just gonna go sleep now while I feed the bunnies and then I go sleep. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. And I see you again very, very soon. Bye.